Whoa, New day in Big Valley. Arthur spent the whole night on guard, watching carefully if any lawmen or bounty hunters came by. Anybody could be an enemy in there. How about I blow your lamp out? It was time to head off, but he wanted to pick up first Micah from his hiding. Yeah. Just to make sure everything was okay and both could go back to see Dutch. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, do you? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. A oh, plan like the Blackwater Ferry job, or like you going off scouting and ending up in jail? Dutch said you was a, a big shadow cast by a tiny tree. I don't even know what that means. Mm, I thought you was a tough boy. <laughs> Not one of those gentlemen. <laughs> Trying to protect his riding clothes. Well, I just know whenever things get real, you turn yellow, lose your head. Yellow? Sure seems that way. So I guess you won't be riding with me to rob the banking coach comes about this time in the strawberry. I heard one of the O'Driscoll boys yapping about it while I was inside. You and me do a robbery? That's what I said, didn't I? After you. <laughs> what are you doing anyway, camping out here like some crazy hermit? Can't exactly stay in town now, can I? And like I told you, I ain't going back to Dutch without a peace offering. So what's the deal with this coach? What do you mean? Comes through about this time every day, like I said, the end. I mean, how many men, guns, riders? Nothing serious. It'll be fine. I heard the bank's been hiring every trigger man they can get of late. The meaner, the better. You worry too much. Forgive me if I ain't wholly faithful in something an old Driscoll told you when you was half drunk in a jail cell. He kept yapping about it, saying how they've been hitting it on the regular. That's a good lead in my book. Damn old Triscolls are everywhere now. Bastards got a hold of most of Big Valley. Heard they took over some big ranch north of here. How the hell you and Lenny end up down here anyway? Oh, you know how it is? A few loose ends, drink here, drink there. What loose ends? Nothing that needs to concern you. I always pay my share. It concerns me when you put us in danger and we don't realize till it's too late. Like that move you pulled at Strawberry, making me kill half the town just for your precious guns. Precious they are. You need to roll a little looser, Morgan. Looser? I've seen you come full undone more than once now, and you've only been running with us a few months. Are we gonna rob this coach or bicker about it? What's done is done. They should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. They should be here any minute. Look, there they are. Right on time. Get covered up. Come on! <laughs> right! Yeah. This is a robbery! Stop that coach right now! What in the hell guns up we got coming?
I'll give it to them. They put up half a fight at least. Yeah! They luck! Come on, boy! Mm. Here. Find new ride for two. Here you go, Arthur. From me to you. That's more your style than mine. What did I tell you? Like licking butter off a knife. Something like that. You don't want to just break it open here and be done with it? Could be more than we can carry. And shit! Now we're being robbed! Get across the river! job I do with you ends in a pile of dead bodies. Since when did you have a problem killing O'Driscoll's? Huh, huh. You've got a point. Let's strip this coach then. It clearly ain't going nowhere now. Come on, let's see if all this was worth All I see is you, me, a river full of dead O'Driscoll's, and a lockbox. I'd say we're golden here, Morgan. Look at that. What's the cut here? It's good. Just make sure the gang gets its piece. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, big shadow, tiny tree. And like I said, that still don't mean nothing. Now, get out of here. Go see Dutch. Make sure you ain't followed. I know, boss. I know. It's been fun. That was a lot of money indeed, and he had to thank Micah for that. Heading back to camp, it was finally nice to be back into New Hanover State, away from bounty hunters. Arthur hoped that things had calmed down around Valentine these last four days, and hoped that nobody was waiting for him. Driscoll, I reckon you must be in the wrong camp. Not this again. How are you feeling? Much better. Karen! I thought those mountains were gonna kill me. Seems I'll live a while yet. Oh, I know. Found a couple of things oh, in town. John was looking for you, Arthur. He's money. over by the tree behind the campfire. He was? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you, Miss Grimshaw. I... Uh, I messed up in Blackwater. 
made a goddamn fool out of myself. You done that before. <laughs> I know. Tell him, Arthur. Tell him we're okay now. We're okay, Dutch. Jose's right. We're just getting back on our feet. You'll get us out of this. We are out of this. We need to keep out of it. So what do you think? We need to make some money and find ourselves an escape route, same as usual. But we are making money. And we will find an escape. We are going to be okay. I agree. We'll get some big money and get lost. <laughs> Good morning, Arthur. So, I found you a pipe. <laughs> Well, will you look at that. You want these? I stole them anyway. Sure, why not? Hello, Miss O'Shea. Good morning, Arthur. When's that gonna be ready, Pearson? What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> What did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. Need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night? Not too guarded? It's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. You know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable. Oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. It was definitely a plan, but they had to tread carefully. A train was big words. So Arthur, when I was in Valentine, nosing about, I think I found something interesting. What's that, Tilly? Well, I'm not exactly sure. Something about the doctor's office. There's something funny going on there. Saw a bunch of nasty boys going in and none of them coming out. Hmm. Thank you. Maybe I'll go take a look. Anything else? No, just that. Well, keep looking. Will do. All right, no time to lose with this oil wagon. But before leaving, Arthur wanted to check the new clothes he bought in West Elizabeth. And the devil was back indeed. So, I'm back. So, I see. Had fun with you, cowpoke. You're dumb, but you can fight a little. Thanks, Micah. That means, uh, that means almost nothing. Uh, listen, Arthur, I know I talk a lot of crap, but you're all right. You and me, we will do big things together. Stinks a coward right around here. Oh, shut up.
Those oil facilities seemed well guarded. It would be tricky to steal the wagon at daylight. So there was no other choice but to wait until dark. Now it was time to act, under the cover of darkness. It was crucial to get out unnoticed. And it was an absolute success. When the guys at the factory realized what happened, Arthur would be already long gone. This was the place that John indicated. Arthur's horse stayed behind near the oil fields, so there was no chance of going back that night. It was very late already, and there seemed to be a cool hiding place. Overall, the day started hiding in West Elizabeth and ended also hiding, but this time in the heartlands. One more day alive. <laughs> 